so last birthday i decided that i'm going to define by myself by who i am and not by what i do and who i know and my relationships in my past etc and that quest has led to so many things but uh, why did this decision happen this decision happened when i looked at people around me and i have uh, i realized that i hate living in reflected glory i actually can't live in reflected glory and this is somebody who's worked in really bright galaxies i've i've worked in the bright galaxies of media and entertainment everybody is a bright star you can very easily live by saying i know so and so uh and that so and so is so famous that people get oh and i'm about it but that doesn't do anything for you as a human and for your career and this and that for a bit maybe but it doesn't last it's it's a fleeting glory uh then there is uh, startups i've been in startups since 2005 like early on right so i've seen the bright stars of startups from then and now and i've kind of and i've seen entrepreneurs and i've seen startups and i've seen celebrities and between all of that i kind of uh understand all their dysfunction and still i'm able to love them for it but i can't live in their reflection because my, i have my own uh, uh uh consciousness right uh, so why did this come about this came about because when i was looking at the people that that i actually wanted to hang with that included people like zakir khan and i don't love him for being the zakir today i love him for having overcome everything that he's overcome and still decided to be creative and still decided to take the big packs and live such a open creative life so you you get so much criticism you fail so publicly but you allow it and you keep changing you reconsider who you are at a, at all times and that to me is the beauty of the human and everything that he does with that is uh, is is by the way you I mean he alchemizes everything that happens to him good bad ugly and makes art out of it what else do you want i mean that's the beauty of zakir khan for me or if you look at uh, uh, vikas devikirti i mean why would you choose to be a teacher if he had all the degrees and the accolades uh, but he chose that and what he did with it later is different but the fact that he chose to be a teacher in a country where we basically uh, don't have a indian teacher service right <laughs> so uh, that then to then look at i also like sarod devi like why do i love him because he talks about hindi books because he decided to go with hindi at a time where we were so enamored by the western english speaking intelligence yeah and he said i'm sure he had no advertisers i'm sure he struggled with money etc in the beginning but he like went on with it right and that look at the impact that's made in the world so this ability to stay put despite popular wisdom is what i admire and that's the human that is it's really not the work that they do it's the person that they are and that's the quality that i also like and i also want uh, so the quest is that why is that critical because reflected glory is fleeting no matter what organization you work with no matter who your boss is no matter how cool you are because you have to be consider who you are also at all times and this reconsideration is what living an active life is and uh, we must live a very very active alive life and not just live by whatever decision we made even a day back maybe right do we sit in the morning and say hey this is my life is this what i want to live and if yes then yeah that's the beauty of it all uh, despite all the challenges that come with it actually challenges are the beauty of taking the decisions that we take isn't it